Hey guys, I got here the Els Falleth Evo here in a size double XL in this custom build up, which we'll talk about in a second, with their own Orome wheels on here. This is a size double XL, weighs in at 18 pounds, four ounces, and in kilos, 8.29 kilos. Stay tuned for uh, after a video we'll here, Frio Buy sent us on these wheels right here. Hey everybody, GC Performance here, back with another video, and today I have for you guys another Els Falleth Evo build. This is a custom build up for the Elves rep over here in North America. Uh, we actually got in contact beforehand. That's how I was able to get my bike. But uh, he was so flattered by some of my work. So he sent over his bike for me to build up. And we were able to work out the deal with some components over here, which is a very interesting build that we have here, as you guys can see. It's a vegan cyclist inspired build with a one by and the XO1 rear derailleur and the 1052 tooth cassette. He's over there in California. So this bike is meant for all hell, which we'll talk about. But another cool thing about this bike is that this is actually the double XL size. This was a size I was considering getting being that I'm six foot. And this is what they call a 56, which will also get another cross look about uh, my stand over here because this bike is massive. I wanna say that I think I made the right choice going with a 54, the extra large for my height for six foot. Um, this bike almost looks like a, like, a, like a USA extra large size bike. Um, also they have on here the Oram Valor wheels. These are Elves own personal wheels that they make. And I'm very, very impressed with these wheels. It's been a long time since I got, no lie, I get a ton of wheel reviews that come out to my store all the time or, or for me for youtube these ones for their price point and what they offer and their hubs they have there and they actually use safe from spokes and the finish on the wheels i was very very impressed i did not get these wheels myself i don't have a discount code for these wheels myself i'm just going to speak highly on the wheels because of uh how modern they are and also the look and also the hub which i have some tear down of the hub myself on there let me know if you guys want to see like an in-depth video on these hubs because they're really cool the bike is fitted with a Vittoria Corsa NEXT tire. Uh, it is a 700 by 30 C tire. This bike can take up to a 32 C. So we're actually really getting to see the boundaries of this bike. And as you guys can see, it fits no problem on there. Uh, and it actually looks mad beefy. The wheel internal width on these new wheels are a 22 millimeter internal width. So the 30s fit on here, perfect. You can see there's a ton of clearance on there. There's no issues at all. But what I'll do, like I said before, I'm gonna go through the whole bike like I mentioned before and uh, I'm gonna talk about pricing as well on this bike and everything. I built up with full stack spacers on here. So that's all the bike comes with spacers, three millimeters or three five mil spacers on here. Uh, and if you do run this flush, this stem looks very flush in here. It looks very, very aesthetic looking, but like me, uh, we wanna be a little more comfortable on the bike. And um, I finished my bike today. I'm thrilled with how the bike turned out. So I like it a lot, but he had a custom color done in here. Elves as well. They also offer custom coloring paint jobs to any one of their frames. It's only a $50 upcharge for whenever you do the bike. And uh, they have different schemes and schematics you can do for different colors and size. Uh, thank you. Um, but yes, you can actually get it to a point where you can actually have a custom color scheme on there as well for just a $50 upcharge. And they have templates which you can do. So this is kind of like an ice blue to purple with a white summit white color on there. He said he really liked the Cervelo S5 paint job. So I think it looks really, really nice. Frame is $1,300. The wheels are usually $1,000, but these wheels are $800 for the set. Unbelievably cheap for what you get there. The bike comes with a bottom bracket, which is a press fit, a PF30. The handlebar, if you buy the handlebar with the frame at the same time, I believe these are only $110. And this is again, their own company, Oram, which is a one by, this is a 110 stem with a 42 centimeter uh, width as well. So not a bad price point there. You're looking around 2,300 bucks. Frame, seat post, wheels, handlebar stamp, bottom bracket, headset on there. Then you just have to get the group set on there. So not a bad starting point for a pretty planted bike. Um, and I'm gonna have a follow video on my bike because there were a couple of things during my build that I had to fix. No major issues that any shop couldn't figure out, but we did have to fix it. So handlebar or a stem and handlebar width on here, like I said, is a 110 and 42 centimeter. It's their Oram handlebar, nice girthy stem. The stem feels planted, the bar is so nice. They even have this little kind of ergonomic cutout right here that makes it a little bit smoother when the drops. They flare out wide here and go nice and smooth here. Very similar to a Shimano Pro 5 handlebar. Uh, nice also fitting on the turn as well. Not a big reach, which I like. They do have a little bit of flare if you look at them at the bar ends, they do have a little bit of flare out. One thing I do not like about these bars though is that the finishing on the bar hole where the bar end goes into, um, it's very thick. It was actually really hard to get that bar plug in there with some tape on there. So I actually had to cut down and trim this up to make it look a little bit better. 
but it was very difficult to get in that I did not like that. It was smooth, the finishing was done really nice, it was rounded really well, but just very tight tolerance in there. Uh, also inside of the bag, you do get a out front mount for a Garmin. So you can go ahead and put it on there as well. I put that on my bike. As you can see, I made a video as well. I wish they kind of lightened up these stems or space right here. This whole setup, these breakaway spacers, these hockey pucks, one, two, three, four, this one being alloy, weighed right around a hundred grams for these spacer setups. So that was a pretty, pretty heavy set right there. These handlebars are called the Aero Evo. And we did a super cast bar tape on there. For the group set on here, we have a SRAM Force shifter set. 12 gears in the rear, one in the front. It is a mullet setup. These are road bike shifters paired with a mountain bike derailleur, which we'll get into once we get to the back of the drivetrain. Again, we have that nice Summit White with the Elves logo right there. And you can kind of see this like chameleon blue to purple look with the chrome Falleth Evo look right there. Now for the wheels, which I'm very happy about. These are called the, the Thunder Hammer. Big, big dick Thunder, <laughs> big D Thunder Hammer 50D. Uh, 50 millimeters wheel depth you have on here regular safe from spokes with a straight pull system on here this is this is kind of a old school the straight pull system now um, but it's a very very nice system to have indeed uh the hub on here is their own th01 with ceramic bearings inside of there and it has a 52 tooth ratchet system for the rear wheel which is amazingly loud and very similar to a dt swiss like i said let me know if you guys want an in-depth review on these wheels because I will do a teardown on them. I already had the video footage of it, but I want to get more in-depth footage of it. Uh, I was actually really thrilled of how the internals look like. It's exactly the same where the ratchet threads into the wheel itself. You have to have a tool to remove it. Um, it even has like a little C-clip to hold down the spring for the system of the wheel. Very nice. They have different finishings as well. This is called the marble finishing. So you have this matte look right here and then it fades to a gloss look on the marble finish. It has these little white decals everywhere. A Rome Valor wheels and like I said it's a pretty modern wheel as well 22 millimeters on the internal width I believe a 24 millimeter on the external width it fits this 30 millimeter tire very smoothly I mean this, there's literally no poke out here and it fits that, that 30 mil tire really really nice big big fan of that for the rotors on here we just want the SRAM Force center lock rotor with a SRAM Force flat mount disc brake caliper we use the bottom bracket that was included with these bikes like I mentioned before this is a PF30 frame platform and it's a SRAM dub. One thing the rep did say to me is that for the SRAM dub included bottom brackets, they're not ceramic. The Shimano are, and the other one is, I forget what the other one is, but the Shimano is ceramic, but this one is not. I guess this is a stainless steel, but it works fine. No issues pushing in, as long as you know how to put in a threaded bottom bracket on there. I'm sorry, a pressure bottom bracket, there's no problems at all. For the crank system on here, you can see we have this nice little logo. Before I get in here, we have this nice little logo on the top, which looks very clean. We have water bottle cages here and here, here and here. This is a UCI legal frame set as well. Um, and then also for the crank set we have in here is a SRAM Red crank set. Here's a SRAM Red crank arms, 172.5 with a one by SRAM Red chainring. This is a 50 tooth chainring and a SRAM cord power meter. We want the 50 tooth in the front and a 1052 cassette in the rear with a SRAM uh, Red X, I'm sorry, SRAM XX1 Eagle cassette and the chameleon to match with the chameleon set to match this kind of chameleon paint job i think it looks phenomenal we have an x01 eagle rear derailleur to go ahead and fit that no issues at all on the 10 tooth no issues at all on the 52 tooth like i said he got the idea from vegan cyclist build on his canyon shout out to him on his channel looks really really clean and then we have the elves logo right there and the white as well very nice as you can see this bike is a monster it has a ton of carbon inside the bottom bracket right here um one thing I'll say while riding, I got to ride mine around a little bit today, just some pedals and shoes. It's a very, very, very fast bike for straight lines. Super quick. It holds its line very well. One thing that we were saying is that when you get up to sprint on it, it feels like it always wants to go back to that straight. So I'm not a crit racer. I never done, uh, I, I don't do any crit races like that. I don't know how it'd be in the cornering, but this bike definitely holds a straight line very nice. For the rear wheel, it's the exact same as the front. It's a 50, uh, 50 millimeter depth rear wheel and the Thunder Hammer right there. Like I said, they even have the weight limit right there, 220 pounds, 100 kilos. And then they have the max pressure, 120 PSI. These are a hooked rim as well. And they have the exposed spoke holes in there just for rim tape. So they are tubeless ready. You can make them tubeless ready if you want. You just need a compatible tire. And these are the Vittoria Corsa NEXT 700 by 30 C tires. And I'll give you a little free of buy sound test right now. Super loud. I, I, I thoroughly enjoy them. I like them a lot. We can see the wheel clearance. There's no issues at all for this, this 730. 
You can fit up to a 32C on here, like I mentioned before, which is really nice. Another 160 millimeter rotor in the rear, and then also the SRAM Force flat mount disc brake caliper. You do have two through axles on here, and the thread pitch for these through axles is different from a, a specialized tarmac. These are at 1.5 compared to the 1.25 as well. Their own proprietary seat post. This thing is almost like a rectangle. I mentioned this before in my unboxing. This thing is like a lethal weapon. I wish they made this little harness down here, this, this hardware, a little bit lighter. Uh, but they do. the good thing is they do send out two different hardware sets. One for a regular chromoly railing. Or I have my bike, a Roman Evil s saddle with carbon rails. And they do have that fixture as well that fits on no problem at all. You do have on here a little 2.5 millimeter cover bolt right here. And there's a 4 millimeter bolt underneath this seat post to go ahead and tighten it up. As you can see in both my videos on my bike and this bike right here, I did not include the rubber boot on here. I think it's overkill, I think it's ugly, and I don't think it looks aesthetically nice. The bike does not need it myself. If you already have that cover plate on there, you'll be fine, honestly. And it takes away a lot of aesthetics. It's a rubber boot that literally sits up to about here. It makes the seat post really, really low. Uh, and then it's a massive tongue right here in the front. I wish I made it cleaner, but it is what it is. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this build. Thoroughly enjoy this build. I think it's one of the coolest ones. Obviously, I don't get to do a lot of these build setups because we're flat here in Florida. But this makes a lot of sense if you want to go with a one by setup in a 1052 situation where you don't want to have to worry about front derailleur. Absolute gorgeous bike, absolute gorgeous paint. And I really do like these wheels a lot. They're a beautiful bike. So uh, thank you guys again so much for watching. Oh, let me get my crotch test real quick. This is a double XL. It's what they call a size 56, which I'm going to call it like they see it. They need to change the sizing. The double XL needs to be a 58, the XL needs to be a 56, and the large needs to be a 54. Also as well, also as well, um, the frames do have a five-year warranty on the frames and a two-year warranty on the wheels, which I think is nice. Now for the crotch test. So my leg was thing. This is this is a big bike. This is a 58 to me. I mean, this thing is. This thing is this thing is tucked okay this i used to ride a, I used to ride a 58 when i first started riding bikes first first started riding bikes 12 15 years ago when the hell it was um but it's a massive bike i definitely recommend that as a 58 size so he is like about 6'2 this should work fine for him thank you guys again so much for watching i'll see you guys next video all right here comes a free up bison test on these uh aram 50d thunder hammers there we go 52 to the ratchet Total War.